Alana, thanks for joining me in this episode of Hey Coach, where we're going to answer the timeless question, Hey Coach, what's the truth about creatine monohydrate? Now, in society, society would have you believe that if you take creatine monohydrate, you're going to bloat up like a water buffalo, and nobody's even going to recognize you because you're going to gain all this weight, have all this water, and it's just going to be a bad thing. However, where did this stuff come from? Where did these ideas come from? It comes from the overusage. So when creatine first came to the United States, I would, have, I would have believed that most people were using it normally. So when I say normally, let's go ahead and provide you guys some guidelines. For females, I typically recommend two to three grams of creatine per day for about every day. And likely what's going to occur is that your muscle cells will be fully hydrated after about 20 to 30 days in that range. For a guy, I recommend anywhere from four to six grams of creatine monohydrate per day. And again, your muscle cells will be fully hydrated, likely within you know 20 to 30 days. Now, why are the recommendations so low? The recommendations are so low because that's how long it takes to fully saturate. There's no need to load 10 grams, to load 20 grams, to load 30 grams of creatine monohydrate. There's absolutely no purpose. And a lot of the negatives come from people abusing creatine. So back in the day when guys started using creatine and they realized that five grams worked really well, maybe they went up to 10 and 15 and 20. Next thing you know, hey guys, everybody, stop using creatine because it made me look like a water buffalo. No, it's not the creatine, it's the amount. Okay, the amount of creatine made them look like that. So let's go ahead and talk about why. The sole purpose of creatine monohydrate is to help you store water intercellular, inside your muscle cells, okay? It's to help you store water inside. Now when you start loading too much creatine, what happens is that once the muscle is fully hydrated, the water has nowhere else to go except to into the subcutaneous layer in between your muscle and your skin. That's why it makes you look more bloated. Some of those really nice aesthetic lines that maybe you had before you started using it, maybe you're in a fat loss phase and you really were liking the way you looked, started using high amounts of creatine and some of those disappeared. There's too much creatine. It's not that creatine's bad, it's just that you've loaded too much. So that's why my recommendations are low. Keep in mind, if you're loading properly, the water will stay inside the muscle because it doesn't need to go outside because you're not loading too much. So again, moderation is everything in regards to nutrition, exercise science, all of the above. Moderation is the key. If you walked into any GNC across the United States of America, all of the employees at the GNC would have you believe that creatine is the devil. Creatine is going to make you hold water, it's gonna make you feel bloated, all types of things. So they're gonna to try to recommend you to a different type of creatine that doesn't make you hold water. Hmm. Think about that, guys. They're basically trying to get you to buy a creatine that doesn't make you hold water, but the sole purpose of creatine monohydrate is to help you store water inside your muscles so that you can therefore perform better in the gym, have better endurance in the gym, and this will likely lead to strength gains over time. Not to mention it can help you aesthetically by making your muscles look fuller and more vascular. So don't listen to the guy in the GNC that doesn't know what he's talking about because he's wrong. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the history of creatine monohydrate. So just to let you guys know, creatine monohydrate is one of the most studied sports performance supplements in the world. I actually believe it is the number one studied supplement in the entire world. The research is there, okay? If you use it properly, you will have no negative side effects. Now, if you do choose to use creatine monohydrate, I'd 100% recommend that you make sure you're always fully hydrated and you're training on a regular, consistent basis, okay? So, in regards to creatine monohydrate, it's not bad for you, but moderation is the key. And if you follow that step process I just told you about, drinking enough water, making sure if you're a female, you're only taking in two to three grams a day. If you're a male, four to six grams per day, you will not have any problems and you will be able to reap the benefits that come with the usage of creatine monohydrate. Don't buy into all these new products that are coming out that say that the creatine is better than creatine monohydrate because creatine monohydrate is the most tried and true version. It's been studied more than anything else. Just go the cheap route. Don't buy the shiny container. Go the cheap route and just buy the normal plain Jane monohydrate. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I hope 
you found it helpful, and I hope that I was able to answer the age-old question. Hey coach, is creatine going to make me bloated? And obviously the answer to that is no, as long as you use it properly. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.